again, and I, you know, I, I don't want to paint myself as this tech, you know, being really into tech. A lot of what I learned was from Ella, because she was living it, you know? She, her, and not just her, I mean, Tom, Tomston, who signed to us, we signed him when he was 18 years old. You start to see how these people communicate and access music and put music out and, you know, and, and build essentially their brand, because all these artists, and this is what we say, look, you're building a brand. And that might not have been sexy to say five years ago. It's exactly what you need to know now. Um, I think it was just, it was, it, was, it was really good timing that she was like, well, you know, I'm gonna put it on SoundCloud. Fuck iTunes, you know, not for any other reason that that's how she is. I, I don't think she even had a credit card, card account, so she, credit card, so she wouldn't have had an iTunes account. So then you start going, oh yeah, when she's doing gigs, she was like, I want to do under 18, which is not something I would really care or think about. Then you start going, oh yeah, how do you build a grassroots uh, fan base? Well, you, you talk to these people and you give them what they want. The tech thing now is, it's so broad, you know, it's like, it, it's almost, it, it's like, you know, it's, trying to bottle water, it, it, it's all, it's all, I try and read as much as I can on it because it came, it's developing so Every day, yeah. And it's now like, well, you know, like if you look at the contracts, uh, traditional rep contracts, there's stuff about apps in there and, and it's now, rights of, yeah. Dig, yeah, and well, it's we, like, well, hang on, you know, maybe that's actually where the revenue's gonna come from. So, so is that something that we should be, something that's been buried in a contract at, you know, uh, 0.14.2, which traditionally managers might go, oh, yeah, well, that's, that's fine, you know. That actually might be the most important thing in there. Yeah. Um, it's funny you say that about the, the digital rights on it, because literally at the moment, there's been a couple of people I've been talking about with the same thing that are in the, I guess, you know, TV sort of space. And I, I asked them the question, I was like, if we know it's all going digi, who currently owns your digital rights? Yeah. And they're like, I've got no idea. I don't know. And, and so I've been mean, like, actually look into it because the reality is exactly pro to your point. If, if second you say digital in one little 14.2 or whatever, yeah. the reality is it can go so much wider now where yeah. you've got no idea all those revenue streams that can exist in a, in a digital platform. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I said- Which we don't even know about. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and being locked in on, the, on those bigger ones. Yeah. So when you were going through, I guess, say the last, you know, you've been in, obviously in the game for, for a minute. Yeah. As your managing artists, they trust they trust you with their brand and their 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 vision and their and you obviously obviously need to balance out the their creative side with the commercialization for for both in, in the short term long term. Yep. What are the biggest? What has been the, the hardest part of trying to play both sides of the fence? The entire <laughs> turning down time? the money. Yeah, <laughs> that's the toughest thing because you have a responsibility and 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 look. I believe that our relationships with our artists are, are we're partners in business. It's not a, it's, it, it's, so it's, a, it's a, an equal balance, but we have a responsibility to make sure that they're making enough money to live and they're getting the best deals that they can, should they want to. But often... Is it a culture fit that you'll say no to? Or is oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And or timing, if the if the absolutely, yeah. it's it's got to work on both both levels. And you know, um, <laughs> we build a strategy with our artists, and so it has to fit it within that strategy. But ultimately, an artist will go, oh, it doesn't it doesn't work for a credibility reason, it doesn't work for a timing reason, uh, and so I don't want to do it. And you're sitting there going. Yeah, when it's a day's work for a million dollars. Just, you know, you can buy a house with that. You can, because we all know how short-term this business is. But, but you trust the instincts of the artist. That's why we work with the artists we work with. We believe that they have a vision, a creative vision, and we will, we will amplify and accommodate that vision. And, and along the way, try and make sure their business is tight. Their business is tight. Their business is tight. Their business is tight. Their business is tight.